by Gemini. My Yanny Yang Gemini. Yeah. What's going on? Twins. Twins. Y'all showed up and showed out during these mid-month August views. Thank you, my loves. Also, thank you for the likes, the shares, the comments, the subscribes. Y'all welcome to the family. We opening up with loving arms and accepting and receiving you, babies. All right. My family is growing. Yeah, we are growing. Okay. I'm thankful. I'm so humbly thankful, y'all. Um, also, the reading special, unfortunately, is over. But if you're friends with a Virgo, okay, let them know that up until September the 22nd. I will be having a reading special for $50 for 30 minutes. Also, um, my $10 reading is it's gone. It's not listed anymore. But it is still good until September the 1st. So if you need a 10-minute $10 reading, you better get it in because after the first, uh-uh, finito. That's dead, okay? Um, y'all, y'all, we are evolving. If this is your first time you're on my channel, hey, boo, hey, I'm Mocha. Uh, welcome to Mocha Love Tarot, y'all. We do not fuss. We do cuss, all right? We might even cry a little bit. We share, we grow, we enlighten, we love, and we uplift, okay? We don't do none of that negative shit here. Keep that drama over there with your folks. We don't want it. When misery knocks at the door, we tell their ass we can't have no company, okay? So this will be from the 1st to the 15th of September for my Gemini's. Y'all showed your ass for Big Mama, yeah. Thank y'all, booze. <laughs> um, this is not a personal; it's a general. Okay, so it may or may not resonate with everybody. Check all of your signs: your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, etc. Okay. Um. Mm, all right, that's we rocking. Let's rock. So, I'm gonna start off with your angel message, Aquamarine. All right. This comes from the Crystal Angels, four parts with Doreen Virtue. Okay, well, from Doreen Virtue. Aquamarine, divine life purpose. Trust the signs and your inner guidance, which are leading you to fulfillment. This card appears in answer to questions about your next steps, your career or spiritual path, and your life purpose. Your purpose, like everyone else's, is to love. The form that you choose to express love needs to be based upon what you love to do. For example, do you enjoy writing, counseling your friends, being with animals in nature, cooking, artistry, teaching children, doing healing work, or conducting research? Following your heart will lead you in the right directions. Yes, you may need to use your head to do some planning and partner up with others who have strength and complementary or who have strengths complementary to your own. God and your guardian angels are reassuring you that the love you feel is a sign that this path of action is your life purpose, okay? So put some pep in your step. Put some pep in your step. Put some pep in your step. Gemini, Gemini, pep, pep, pep. You gotta put some pep in your step, okay? Mother is telling y'all, a lot of y'all during this time, y'all, y'all, uh, this is a very passionate time for Gemini. Some of y'all, what I just saw in my third eye, you nasty, okay? For some of y'all, y'all third eye is gonna be banging. Banging. Some of y'all definitely got a fire sign on your mind, okay? But some of y'all, you know that this person is possibly a twin flame for most of you, okay? Um, this could be Aries Leo Sag. I get more stronger, um, Saggy vibes, okay? Some of y'all could also be very passionate about a Pisces during this time or possibly be renewing the love. But some of y'all, it's self love. It's the love around the things that you love to do, okay? During the first to the 15th of September. Some of y'all, you need to have more faith, okay? I am, um, I am hearing self doubt, self doubt, self doubt. First off, Try need to die. All right. Um, I surely wish that the wish. What is that? You can't manifest and be wishing at the same damn time. Pick a side. Pick a side. You gotta look alive, baby. Get on your feet. Pep, pep, pep. Let's prep, pep. You understand? I do see during this time. Ooh, a lot of y'all will be starting something new with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And this will be definitely a new person. This person could also be younger than you. Some of y'all are going to be having faith 
more so in moving and being strategic about the things that you want to do. A lot of y'all are leaving jobs during this time unapologetically. Congratulations. And you're moving towards what it is that you want to create. Okay. You ain't sitting down waiting on nothing, nobody. And spirit is saying, great job, my babies. I am also seeing during this time, some of y'all are going to be communicating. Some of y'all are actually going through it right now. This retrograde actually shook up a few things as far as communicating better. Okay. Some of y'all have been patiently waiting for somebody to call. You've been waiting by the phone all alone, waiting on them to get they call long. They're going to call you. This could be another air sign like yourself, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could also be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? Strong Saggy vibes here. And this could also be Leo and Aries as well. But I also see here a lot of y'all, uh, a lot of y'all faith. Your faith will be expanding during this time. A lot of y'all faith, little faith is blocking abundance, okay? But I do see during during this time of first to, to the first and the fifteenth, y'all the creator, the most high God, the universe, whatever you refer to God as, you're the creator. Y'all, the creator gonna show up and show out. They're gonna show you uh, why we have to loosen the rings of control, okay? But this is a very passionate time. Be true to yourself. Be true to those around you. Only allow people in your realm that's only going to, that's going to be true and authentic to themselves. So they can kind of not really, because you know, Gemini, I have Gemini Venus. So what I will, what I will say about Gemini, Gemini was my first love as well. So what I will say about a Gemini, y'all are very misunderstood because people always just assume like, you know, well, they just see the fun side. Okay. They don't see the feelings. They feel like y'all don't have none, but there's definitely feelings there. There's definitely, I feel like it's not really sneaky. It's more discreet. You know, you're you're one of the signs that definitely don't believe in letting the left hand know what the right hand is doing. A lot of y'all are going to receive honest communication during this time. Okay, you're going to be communicating honestly and receiving that back. Definitely from a water sign or a fire sign. Okay, so just have faith and everything's going to work out. If somebody left you in during their retrograde or during the month um, of... Um, August, okay? Just know that this person will be back. You have to have more faith than what you're having. That's what spirits want to say. From the first to the 15th, some of y'all faith will be tested, okay? But just know, just to see, all right? Just to, just to see and allow it to grow, baby steps, okay? Some of y'all are learning to have faith. And ain't nothing wrong with that if you just, you grown and just learning to have faith. It's a process. It's a journey. We all move at our own pace, not the pace of what the hell Tom, Dick, and Harry is doing, all right? So don't judge yourself. Take it easy on yourself, all right? What are you passionate about, babes? Right, during this time, I am seeing um some of y'all who got your own businesses or who's moving towards creating your own business, you're going to boom. You're going to pop. You are a creator, okay? A creator, dualistically, okay? I do see some of y'all are kind of sitting, will be sitting still during this time. Some of y'all have a very indecisive as fire, as fire sign in your energy, okay? During this time, a lot of y'all have been making on this person to make a decision because I feel like this is somebody who you truly want to be with, but sometimes you kind of have mixed emotions about the, the twins come out. You have mixed emotions about this person. Sometimes I feel like you want to charge in and communicate, okay? Because I feel like you, this person brings balance into your world. In order to create, this person is the passionate, I feel like the passion plug. This person is the plug to passion that li literally starts you up. And puts that fire underneath your ass to make you be like, yeah, I got to do it. This person can be your motivation, okay? I do see that some of y'all have a air sign. You could be married to this person because I'm hearing wedding bells. You could be, you love this person with everything. Some of y'all have children, okay, with an air sign. And this person is very indecisive. This person don't know how to heal to talk to you during this time. You're going to balance that out. You're not having it. Period. Point blank. Speak your truth. Speak your heart. Be authentic. Gemini don't take that shit. Y'all know Mocha House is not on fire. I am burning um this red ginger incense. Okay, let me see. Spirit, please show me the Gemini space between the first and the fifteenth of September. Show me. Yes, yes, some of y'all are going to be cutting off a Gemini Libra Aquarius, okay? I feel like for some of you, you've been trying not to make a decision. You want to move forward. You want to be happy. You want to be, some of y'all, you want to just be free, okay? But you feel like you've been kind of holding back this communication with this person because this person is more so traditional, okay? They have 
I feel like for some of y'all, this person is very controlling. Like, they old school. Like, the man is the one to go to work and you stay your ass at home. And you're like, no, I don't want to stay at home. I want to go create a damn bakery shop because I like muffins. What the fuck? All right. Some of y'all, some of y'all have a defensive fire sign, okay? And this person wants you to make a decision, but you personally think this person is toxic as hell. Some of y'all um, during this time will also be possibly cutting off a Capricorn as well. But if not cutting off a Capricorn, you're going to possibly communicate with this person what it is that you would like to do. And either you like it, you're going to get on the bus, you with me, or you, look, you rolling or you ain't. You rolling or your ass get left. Pick a side. Some of y'all are wanting to have, some of y'all are having faith and wanting to take a leap of faith towards an Aries, okay? Some of y'all want to start over. I feel like with communication, things have got off on the wrong foot. During this time, during the first of the during the first of the fifteenth of September, you and this person will be able to move away from past drama in the past. Okay, if you just have a little bit more faith, all right. Some of y'all have a Sagittarius that you will be moving away from. Um, I feel like you feel like this person has options. You feel like this person is juggling you. I mean, you feel that there's a lot of passion with that person, but I feel like you need to communicate honestly about what it is that you internally feel, what it is that you truly want, not what it is that this person want based on keeping them in your world, but what it is that you want. One second, Gemini. What's up, baby? Can I have some chocolate milk? You want chocolate milk? That's fine. Don't get chocolate wasted, though. You can say hello to Gemini. This is y'all fellow Gemini, and he just heard the Gemini song. He had to say hey. Hey, hey Gemini. All right, bye, mommy's Gemini. I'll see you in a second. All right, love you. Love you. Right, you. Okay. He's the sweetest, okay? He also got his spicy side, but he's the sweetest. Y'all, have a little bit more faith. I'm Especially when I'm touching this Aries. With well, the food card with this three of wands. Some of y'all need to move away from how you did things. If this person or you've been emotionally manipulative in the past, yeah, I feel like it's blocking abundance with possibly this Aries or this could also be a Sagittarius as well. So you feel like some of y'all feel like you've been emotionally manipulated, even though there is so much love here. You need to communicate more, Gemini. During this time, during the first of the fifteenth of September, you're gonna be communicating more. Some of y'all have some truth and clarity coming in about and regarding the fire sign. You feel like with an earth sign, with the earth energy, you feel like some of y'all feel like you're giving more than what you're receiving. I feel like you give this person a world and the only thing they can give you is a measly ass little star. you like, that's it? So around that whole damn globe, you just found a star? I'm over it. I can't do this shit. No. No. Some of y'all have earth energy, okay? Uh, that you feel like you're giving more. You're going to communicate that during this time. And this earth energy could also feel that about you, Gemini. Some of y'all are walking away from a water sign. Strong emphasis on the Pisces, okay? Um, well, I feel like with this person, you feel like this person is the one that got away at one point in time. But I feel like one of y'all are just focused on emotion and the other one is trying to be strategic as far as being successful. So that's why it's not working. One person is focused on business and flourishing and the other person is focused on love, love, love. But God damn it, we can't love on the flow. Somebody got to get it. So you're going to have to communicate in a nice way, Gemini, about that. Some of you have a new water sign coming in. Some of y'all going to leave water and re-meet another water sign. Strong cancer vibes. Could also be um, Scorpio as well. Though. Some of y'all have, have a new water sign that you've met in the last three days, three weeks, or you will be meeting from the 1st to the 15th of September. Um, I do feel it'll be possibly within the first three days of the month or the first three weeks of that month. But I do feel like this person... This person is going to be uplifting to you. Some of y'all also have a Leo, and this person kind of want to start over. They want to fix it, y'all. That fire sign. This Leo want to fix it, okay? Some of y'all are having strength during this time after possibly walking away from a Leo. And that situation, you thought it was dead? Uh-uh. From the 1st to the 15th <laughs> of September, it's going to be resurrected. Some of y'all definitely are dealing with an Aries, okay, with this Emperor card. Some of y'all are getting promotions during this time between the 1st and the 15th. A lot of y'all um, also, ooh, 
Some of y'all could also have an Aries person at your job that you're not seeing eye to eye with during the first to the fifteenth. Y'all come and let me know. I apologize for Ram Gang, okay? Because we don't always try to be assholes. I promise we don't. When we have the Gemini and my Venus and the Aries sun, I I understand both sides of the fence, okay? Hit me up. I'm let you know. This is just. You know, but I do see leaps of faith being taken. I do see some of y'all moving on blind faith during this time. Some of y'all have an earth sign that is trying to hold on to you. Especially like this person, I feel like in the past, maybe they didn't believe in you. Or maybe like you talked about your dream and this person really wasn't damn sold on it. Okay, so maybe they went on and did their own business. But now, back then, you didn't want me. Now I'm hot. You all on me. Okay, some of y'all are very familiar with that Mike Jones song. We had that, you all on me. But you, they didn't want you. They were doubting your dreams, okay? But during, when you make that, when you take that blind leap of faith and make the decision towards your passion, Gemini, I swear, a lot of y'all are going to be looking damn good financially. Blind faith is needed during this time. That's the food card here. Yeah, some of y'all possibly left the job. Some of y'all were uprooted. Some of y'all possibly had to leave just with no warning. Some of y'all will possibly go to work during this time and have a note on the door like the company closed. And in your head, you're going to feel like all hell broke loose, but literally, the creator is making you take that leap of faith because you have a life purpose that you are going to be very flourishing in, and you just got to trust yourself, okay? Some of y'all are moving away from a Gemini leap of Aquarius from the past. you just over their shit. Some of y'all have, some of y'all are coming out of this energy of being defensive towards the fire sign, strong, saddy vibes after receiving truth and clarity from this person. And it could have to do with another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of y'all, some of y'all were given to possibly a family situation, okay? And I feel like you were staying with possibly an earth sign due to a family situation, but this person continuously comes in and just disappoints you. Like, just when I thought your ass couldn't get any lawyer, you fucking dug a tunnel on me. Like, why? Um, some of y'all have, uh, yeah, some of y'all are kind of indecisive about making an offer possibly to, possibly to a Virgo. Okay. Or this Virgo could be doing that in your energy. Some of y'all also, uh, some of y'all is in love with a little water sign. Okay. I feel like this person is new. You look at this person as, as being emotionally mature. Okay. Some of y'all have, uh, some of y'all have a water sign you've been dealing with. Okay, I feel like for some of you, this person is older than you. And this person, if you if you intuitively feel like they got options, they do. Okay. Um, yeah, some of y'all walked away from a Scorpio. You left it alone. I'm done. Over the shit. Okay. And then, boom, here comes a cancer. Boom, this is the person that you manifested. And boom, this is also a past life relationship. This is person is a soulmate that followed you from another lifetime. And this don't look like a bad one. This person comes with transformation. This person comes, then your Ace of Cups. Transformation, then your Ace of Cups. Okay? Some of y'all, this Leo is coming in. Okay? This Leo won't new new with you. They want to start over. They sorry. Okay? If I could just literally play, what's that song? Mary J. Blige. What would she say? I'm so sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. I don't know how many times she said sorry when she was going down, but they, they sorry. They more sorry than Mary. Okay? Because a lot of y'all are coming out of cycles and going into new ones, okay? You're coming out of cycle, coming out of cycles of dealing with deception, coming out of cycles of not trusting yourself. You're coming out of cycles of self-doubt, self-worry, fear. Oh, I can't. Yes, you can. Why you can't? What are you saying, okay? Some of y'all are going into another cycle, coming out of a cycle and going into another cycle, possibly with that Scorpio. Some of y'all ain't letting that damn Scorpio go. Okay, why is this King of Swords here? Yeah, some of y'all are cutting off a Virgo. Some of y'all are also cutting off uh, possibly the mother of your children. Or you could, if you have an air sign in your energy, this person could possibly have, they cut you off. They possibly cut you off for possibly another mother of their children, especially if this person is a Virgo. Some of y'all, you want to make it, you want to make an offer to a fire sign, Aries Leo Sag. And this person make you feel sometimes like that shit's not good enough, okay? You need to communicate to this person. Talk to me, not at me. And don't make me feel this small because I'm bigger than this house. Do you understand? Don't don't put some respect on it, okay? <laughs> yeah, some of y'all are going into a new cycle, possibly with an Aries, a Taurus, a Libra, Pisces. <laughs> some of y'all going to get y'all wish. Whoever dealing with Taurus and you want this person, you left this person saying you're going to commit or I'm out. They coming back with that rain, boo. <laughs> they wouldn't let you go like that. Did you think you were getting away? 
no. I do feel like this person, uh, some of y'all who are dealing with this Capricorn, I feel like this goes back to that energy of uh, back then. You didn't want me. Now I'm hot. You all on me. Some of y'all may have a Capricorn in y'all energy um, that way, okay? But I feel like ultimately some of y'all are secretly, some of y'all are secretly dealing with a water sign. I feel like this is somebody who is, this is some girl on girl. Like some somebody can have a husband and they marry. But this is like, they also have a mistress on the side. This would be the wife with the mistress. This is too much. You know what, Gemini? I, I told y'all, y'all some, but you're definitely going to be moving forward, okay? Just make a decision and have faith. Don't be afraid to move in blind faith to chase what it is that you're passionate about. Make this life, make that that aspect. When I, I hear people saying, I'm living my best life. Do not use the term, I'm living my best life to justify hoism, okay? Justify greatness. That's your best life. All right, regret free. Don't die with woulda, coulda, shouldas. From the first to the fifteenth, a lot of y'all gonna have that revelation. Blind faith is a fool. It's gonna get you where you got to go and fast. The stability you worry about is coming. If you just trust in your damn self, it's here. Okay. I love y'all. If you need that person, hit me up. Deuces, booze.